Hey guys, it's Charles with Things Inc. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at creating our very first room using rooms. This is gonna be a great tutorial if you're a beginner or even if you're brand new to voxel art. Essentially, building out our room is gonna be even easier than building with Legos. There are thousands of different things we can choose from to populate our room with from the Things library. And I'll even show you guys how we can add some quick interactivity with our room with some of the different things that we end up adding. There's two ways you guys can follow along. I'm gonna be using the desktop version of rooms, but there's also an iOS app if you wanna use that on your smartphone or your tablet. So let's jump over to the website now and get started. All right, guys, I'm on the rooms website. And again, it's rooms.xyz. And in order to create our first room from scratch, just come up here to the create tab. Again, you don't need an account to do this. You go ahead and click that. And now we can see that's launched open a blank room for us to work with. And right now we're currently viewing our room in the play mode. There's a play mode and an edit mode. And you can come right down here to the bottom. You're going to see edit. Go ahead and click that. And that's going to open up the edit mode. And you can see up here at the top, we have edit and play. And a quick shortcut to use to navigate between those two is just the escape key. I can press that and it will navigate between the two different modes. In the edit mode is where we can go ahead and build out our room. Now the colors you're gonna be seeing with your room design may be a little different than this. It randomly selects a color theme for each new room that's created. And when we don't have anything selected, you're gonna see the properties panel over here. And this is kind of, again, for the color theme and the lighting. And we can change a few of these options. So we can come over here to color theme. Currently we're in baby powder. And I'll just select one of these others here like Starry Night. And we can see it changes the colors of the walls and the background. And I'm gonna select one of the color themes that I like to use a lot, which is the gray orange. And we have a few other options here like the lighting and we have background colors. If you wanna go ahead and customize any of that or the wall colors, I'm gonna leave these as is, but you can feel free to customize those if you want. We'll come back and look at the lighting modes a little bit later on. But to start adding some objects into our room, we need to come down here to this plus icon, which is the new thing. And it's gonna allow us to grab things from the things library. And there are literally thousands of things you can search through here and select from that are made by users. And you can navigate these by the tag groups here, or you can just go ahead and search an object up here. Let's start out by adding a rug into this room. So I'm gonna select on the rug tab there. And you can see all the different rugs we can choose from. I'm gonna select one of these here. And you see I have it selected and I can just drag it into the room and it will actually snap to the floor there. And I can go ahead and place that down. And when I place that down, you will see it's still selected. So I have a few other options here if I wanna select and rotate this. I can just click and drag to rotate it. We can also move the position of it around by clicking and dragging it around the room. Again, it's kind of snapping to the floor. If I wanna elevate it off the floor, I can just drag it up and you can see it kind of elevates it above the floor plane. And then if I wanna delete it, I can just hit the delete key to go ahead and get rid of that rug. I can grab one of the other rugs over here and I can select it. And you can see when I highlight it over the room, it'll kind of snap to the floor. But when I'm off over here in the gray area, you'll see it'll turn red. And if I don't wanna add this to the room, I can just click over here and it will actually just throw that away. Now I'm gonna work with this brown striped rug right here. I like this one quite a bit. I'm just gonna snap it into the room just like that and place it there. And when you have an object selected also, you'll see the properties panel over here will change with that object. So we have all the different options for that object. We're not gonna dive too deep into that right now, but that is what will pop up in the properties panel when you have an object selected. You can see when I deselect that object, it comes back here to the properties of the overall room. So let's keep building out our room. Let's come over here to the things library and I'm gonna type in a lamp. Go ahead and search for that. I'm gonna select this first lamp here and I'm just gonna drag it into my room and place it down. And again, if you wanna move it around, you can just select it and drag it around. It should snap to the floor there. And I'm just gonna place it right here in the corner of the room. And now I wanna add a desk into our room. So let's come here to the things library and I'm just gonna search for desk. And I'm gonna scroll down here. There's one in particular that I like to use, this short desk here. I'm gonna select that. Another great shortcut to know is R, which is gonna rotate anything you have selected by 45 degrees. And you can see as I press that here, it's rotating around. So depending on which wall you wanna put your object next to, that's a definitely a handy shortcut you're probably gonna use quite a bit. So I'm just gonna place the desk into the room there. And now let's go ahead and add a chair to go along with our desk. And I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna find this swivel chair here. I like this one quite a bit, kind of matches. And I'm just going to hit R to rotate that a few times and place that into our scene. And now let's also add in a bed. So I'm gonna type in bed. And I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna select this twin bed that's in here, right down here. And again, I wanna rotate this. So I'm just gonna hit R on the keyboard and kind of rotate that and place it right over here into the corner. Now, one thing that's really neat about the things that are a part of the things library is, is some of them actually have code embedded into them. So they already have some interactivity you can work with. And a nice way to see this is actually to go back into the play mode. So again, you can come back up here and select play mode, or you can just use the escape shortcut to switch between the two modes. 
And now that we're in the play mode, I'm gonna come over here to the lamp and you're gonna see it's gonna turn a light gray color. And so will some objects on the desk there, those desk drawers, and so will the chair. And this essentially means when we click these objects, something's gonna happen. So like with the lamp here, when I click that, you can see it actually goes out. And on the drawers of the desk, when I click those, those will actually pop out, which is kind of neat. And you can just click them again to close them back up. And with the chair, when I click that, it will swivel around. So again, that code is just embedded into those things automatically. Not all of the things in the things library have that, but many of them do. And it's a nice way you can kind of add a lot of functionality to a room you're building really quickly. So let's go back over here to the edit mode. And let's add some objects here to our desk. So I'm gonna come back over here to the things library. And I'm gonna type in computer. And I'm gonna scroll down here and we're gonna see we have this kind of older looking computer here. I like this one quite a bit. And I'm just gonna place it right there on the back of the desk. We're also gonna need a keyboard and a mouse. So if I scroll through here, I'm gonna select this keyboard, place it there. And let's see if we have a mouse in here also. I'm gonna select this mouse right here. And the mouse here looks like it's facing the wrong direction. So I'm just gonna hit R a few times to rotate that around. And I'm just gonna place it there. And I think we also need a desk lamp. So let's just come back up here and type in lamp again. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna select this red desk lamp here and just place that right in our room. Now with each of these things, when we select them, again, we have the properties panel over here. We can actually edit the models and the code and a lot of other things. I'm not gonna dive into editing the models here, but I do wanna show you a way we can edit the style with the tint of some of these objects. So you can see the keyboard here doesn't look as old as our computer. So I wanna kind of darken that up a little bit. So under style, I'm gonna to toggle that down. We have tint. I'm just gonna select here on the color mode here and we can go ahead and kind of select more of a beige kind of tan color there to give that keyboard the same tint or a close tint as our computer monitor. And we'll do the same thing with the mouse. I'll just select that under style. We can see, let's go ahead and give this a little bit more of a tan color so those things kind of match. And then on the lamp, when we select that, we can actually do the same thing with the light color. So if I come down here to lighting, we can see the color there. If you wanted to warm that up a little bit, you can change the color of the light. We can barely see it there. But you can also increase the intensity of that a little bit and the range. Maybe bring that back down so it's not overwhelming. But if any of the things have light associated with them, you can adjust the color of the light there. So those are two ways you can quickly customize any of the things here in our room without diving into the model editor. Now let's add some things to the walls of our room. I'm gonna come up here and search for a window. And I'm gonna select this very first one here, which is the French window. And I'm gonna place it here behind the desk. Again, if you wanna place it on the other wall, just hit R and it'll go ahead and rotate that and it'll snap perfectly to that. So depending on which side of the room you wanna put your window, I'm gonna place it right behind the desk here. Now let's go ahead and add in some paintings. And there's this group of small paintings here I like. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate that, place it over here. It'd also be kind of cool if we added in some neon over here. So let's type in neon. And I'm gonna select one of my favorites down here, which is this blue dinosaur. And I'm just gonna rotate that, snap it on the wall right there. And finally, let me show you guys something really cool, which is gonna be a light switch. So let's come over here to the lighting tag. And I'm gonna select this light switch right here. This one actually has code embedded into it. And I'm just gonna place that here on the wall. And let's go back over to the play mode and watch what happens when I actually click on the light switch. It's going to dim the lighting of the room. So it actually changes between the different lighting modes for our overall room. And this is really cool because we can see the lamp here in the desk lamp, how they kind of stand out and the neon on the dinosaur. And we can click those to turn those off as well. And we just have the glow of the computer monitor. So that's pretty neat and provides a lot of cool interactivity. And again, that code is just embedded automatically into that light switch. So again, it's just a way to really add some functionality to our room really quickly. Let's go ahead and jump back over to the edit mode. And if we navigate over here to the properties panel, we can see the lighting for our room currently is bright. And when we're in the play mode and we're clicking that light switch, it's switching between bright and dark modes there. So that's pretty neat. Let's go ahead and add a few accents to our room now. I'm gonna come over to the things library and I'm gonna add in a tray. I'm gonna select that, add it onto the bed here. I'm gonna hit R to rotate that around and just place that object down. And you can see right here, it's actually floating above the bed a little bit. So I can actually click it and just kind of get that to where it's even with the bed. And I can just move it around now. So it's not floating around in our room. A nice way to tell if an object's floating, when I lift this up, you can actually see the shadow here. It's kind of like underneath it at an angle. That's a good indicator. It's not quite level with that. And you can see 
when I lower it down to the bed, it'll actually turn that bright green color, indicating that it's level with whatever object I'm placing it on. Now let's add some books in here. Type in books. And I'm gonna select this book stack. And I'm just gonna rotate that, place it here in the corner. And let's add a cat in here. I'm gonna type in cat. And I like this black cat that's down here. I'm gonna find it. Let me see. This one right here, it's sleeping. And it's got a little animation to it. You can see there. I'm just gonna go ahead and place that there. And we better get him a cat feeder as well. I'm just gonna type in feeder. And there's a cat feeder. And I'll just place this here in the corner. Now, one thing I like to do when I add accents to a room like this is I like to kind of tell a little bit of a story. And since we have our cat here, I'm gonna go up here and search for floppy disks. Since that kind of matches our old computer style we've got here, I'm gonna select this floppy disk. I'm gonna place several of these around the room. I'm gonna put a few on the desk here. Select another one. I'm gonna hit R to rotate that, like a stack of them there. And I'm gonna add a few more here down on the ground. I'm just gonna rotate those. And essentially the vibe I'm going for here is if the cat was up here on the desk, maybe he knocks some of these floppy disks down on the ground. Just as a nice touch to the room, kind of tying this in with the cat and everything else in the room. Now that I've got those placed, I actually want to get rid of that last floppy disk I placed down. And up here in the right, you can see we have the undo and redo options. So I'm going to select undo and that's going to get rid of that extra little floppy disk I placed in there. You can also use the keyboard shortcut command Z if you're on a Mac and control Z if you're on a PC. And again, if I change my mind and wanted to add that back, I could just hit the redo up here. And then I'm gonna remove that again here and hit undo and that will remove that thing. And with that, I think our room's looking pretty good. So let's come back over here to the play mode. And you can see we have our cat here and I can go ahead and click him. We hear a little purr sound. We have the keyboard here, I can go ahead and click that. And we'll get a nice little keyboard animation. Again, I can click on the light switch. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the keyboard again so that'll stop playing. You can kind of see the lighting of the room we've got going on here. Nice and cozy. Again, putting the cat to sleep. Let's go ahead and turn the light switch back on. Now, if you guys have watched this far into the tutorial, I'm gonna leave you guys with one little Easter egg here. Let's go back over to the edit mode and I'm gonna select the computer here. And we're gonna add a little bit of quick code. So with that selected, I'm gonna come here to the computer. We can see the properties panel and I'm just gonna select code. And you're gonna see we have the code editor pop up and there's a bunch of little quick presets and templates that they have available here. And we're just gonna click on this bouncy ball template and that'll automatically add some bouncy code to that computer. And let's just come over here to the green check mark and click save. And let's just jump back over here to play. And now what we've done is we've kind of made this a little Easter egg. When I click on the computer, it's gonna start bouncing around the room. And you can do this with anything you have in your room. So it's a nice way to add in a hidden Easter egg to any rooms you design. And really it's just a lot of fun to click on objects and have them bounce around everywhere. And if you wanna reset the room, just come back over here and change to the edit mode and go back into the play mode and that will reset everything. Hope you guys enjoyed that because that's how easy it is to create your very first room in rooms. And if you guys wanna share your room with your friends, all you need to do is create an account and then save your room out and you can share that with a link and anybody will be able to check out the room you've created. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial creating your very first room in rooms. If you wanna learn even more, be sure to check out the Things Inc. YouTube channel where you're gonna find plenty more tutorials if you wanna go in depth with different things that you can do using rooms. We can't wait to see all the different rooms you guys create and I'll catch you guys on the next one.